Hi, welcome to CG Turner. I am a Chen. In this video tutorial, we are going to introduce a technique that looks very simple but very important and useful for um, uh, for game or um, cross simulation. That is baking animation. Um, let me explain it by doing it. Uh, what baking animation can do? Uh, we'll start create a simple cylinder and apply band modifier to it and the set key to it okay now we have uh, this um, animate, animated uh, cylinder uh, with a band modifier as you know, uh, if we delete this band modifier, there is no animation. All the animation will gone. Or we collapse this uh, band modifier, all the um, animation information will gone. So, um, what big animation can do? Um, I'll show you by using the um, John Burnett. Uh, uh, make script written by John Burnett. Its name is Bake. So we will run it, um, choose the option, uh, mesh, mesh animation and uh, up, output to vertex animation and uh, set the range uh, from 0 to 20. What this script can do, as you can see they, now there is no um, band modifier to the cylinder. The only one is a uh, uh, edible mesh, but uh, as you can see, all the um, uh, band um, information are baked into vertex vertex level, and uh, this is very useful for um, um, uh, ex export your uh, mesh to a uh, game engine or uh, very useful for a uh, uh, very complex scene like a uh, crossing simulation so um, let me explain how to install this max script first go to um, script spot www scripts spot com and then search for big um, there are several um, uh, big uh, max script yeah several max script can perform the baking animation process uh, but I use in this tutorial I use um, a max script written by John Burnett its name is bake and uh, this max script require uh, AV guard extension uh, BFD to score and uh, JB functions so um, uh, you can click this to download it and uh, I found that uh, the JB function and the BFD2 score and this are not available so um, this is a jump on it website uh, you might um, I think you might want to um, drop drop in a line and uh, maybe request or uh, ask for the um, all the um, require extension to make the next script function so um, after you uh, download it copy it to 3dx max folder and um, how to use it uh, um, go to customize customize user interface and uh, go to toolbar and uh, select the group select main UI and um, the script is here. The name is um, uh, uh, BFD2. Uh, you, as you can see, uh, bake bake a selection of object. So click and drag it to any uh, toolbar. So now you are ready to use it. So. Uh, uh, let me perform another <coughs> simple um, uh, 
another simple uh, example. <coughs> so now I have a, a box, and then I apply a position. I'm sorry. Then I ap apply a position uh, controller. I apply a noise position controller to it. So you might expect this will um, make this uh, box with a random uh, position. So, but uh, this is a procedural uh, animation. Um, so I apply a this back script and uh, change the back option to object transformation and. Um, I'll back it from zero to uh, three, and uh, check the delete original. Okay, now um, select this box. As you can see, the noise position controller are gone, but uh, the all the um, transformation information are back it. Uh, with a uh, um, keyframe so um, I think and you know the difference uh, thank you for watching this video tutorial and bye bye